All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here on the review table, and one of the things that I was trying to do was put together a, a really cool 9 millimeter pistol uh, that's very similar to, or not, just really uh, similar to the uh, 19X because I do like the large frame. So when uh, Live Free Army sent me, this is their Combat 19 slide, I took the opportunity to go ahead and say, you know what, let's do this. So what we did, uh, went out and bought the Lone Wolf uh, frame. And I, I don't even remember the name of the damn thing. But in any case, I really wanted something unique also. Maybe not so much as a carry gun because I ins installed this Timmy trigger in it. Now, what has happened in the interim in installing this thing is I'm finding out, look at this really quickly. Now, I know this is something that we're looking at, uh, but watch. See how slow that thing returns? It doesn't even come all the way back, and that's even with the red return spring. And I was going to do a full-blown review on this thing, but I don't want to do it till I have everything working right. So what I'm thinking is that we're, we're experiencing some rubbing or something somewhere, uh, or even maybe was, I need to put some lubricant on it and shoot the damn thing. But what was screwing it up was... I think a little bit with the return, this, uh, the drive rod spring here, uh, maybe not having this thing broken in. The slide itself is absolutely magnificent. I've just thrown this barrel in because uh, at my house I do have the Landtac uh, spiral cut barrel with the uh, nickel boron finish. And one of the things I, I want to, I don't want to shoot it unless I got that barrel in there. Uh, I did dry fit a hollow sun. Uh, with the uh, that Cyclops or the uh, yeah I believe it's the Cyclops the reticle in there I don't know if I'm gonna run that or not and then on top of it I'm gonna put these guys right here I'm gonna go ahead and install these uh, these are the Trigicon night sights I really dig these things because they're huge they're big uh, not that this is going to be a carry gun. If I, honestly, if I'm going to carry it, I'd probably go ahead and just take this trigger out. But one of the things that I'm really concerned about is that slow return. And when I put this guy together, okay, everything looks awesome. Look at that thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. The grip feels good to me. Um, I just didn't feel like the whole thing was coming back into battery. And look at that. So... One of the tests that I have, especially when I just pull out a brand new pistol, is I'm going to bring it back to slide lock, and then I'm going to bring it forward like that to simulate a firearm or put something going into battery, and that's what I'm experiencing right there. Now, if I do that, it's at this point in time, it just won't even there. It 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 go it releases. So I've got to figure out what is going on with this guy. And I think to troubleshoot it, I may go ahead and install the OEM trigger that came with the uh, Lone Wolf lower parts that I bought with on eBay. The upper parts kit was just something that I put together from uh, eBay. And everything went together quite nicely. The, the drive rod and the spring may have a little bit to do with what's going on here. If you guys got any suggestions, please let me know. But I will tell you this. Um, Live Free Armory, you guys put together one beautiful slide. I love the coating on this. I'm not sure if it's an uh, anodized or if it's uh, a Cerakote finish. The parts kit that I purchased off of eBay uh, was not really something that I really wor I'm worried about. But I'm concerned just looking through this thing and why are you not doing what you're supposed to be doing? Uh, maybe just throw some lubricant on there or put that uh, other barrel in there. Let's see down the road what happens it all fits together but uh, in testing the trigger uh, the it's almost see right there watch see the return spring bam that's concerning to me I will not carry a gun like that uh, but everything else went went together I like the assembly for the Timmy trigger and uh, I, I would suggest going and not looking at the Timmy Trigger uh, channel for their install because it was horrible. <laughs> but we'll figure out what's going on. We'll go ahead and make this thing rock eventually. But yeah, man. Uh, see? And... There. See? If I force it forward then it works. Maybe put some lubricant on it. Matter of fact, let's do that real quick. Stand by. 
So, see? Yeah. So, anyway, we got some issues that we got to work through on this thing. Um, it'll get running right here very soon. Now I just got to get the oil off of everything. That's just crazy. Let's see if something else is wrong. Did I do something wrong on the assembly? I'm not sure. Don't think so. Don't need that much oil on a gun for it to run right. See? Hell, that was a striker just went off on by itself. Yeah. Well, see? Damn thing just went off. By itself. No way in hell I'm taking this thing to the range like that. Okay, we're going to troubleshoot this thing. I'm going to put the OEM trigger back in it and see if the same issues happen. Might be tomorrow or maybe next week when that happens. But anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, All together, I like the way the firearm looks. Might try to take and put this uh, trigger system in the uh, 19X to see if it operates any better. But that that worried me, man. That, that, that thing's going off by itself. Hmm. Anyway, that being said, uh, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. It's KB32. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any suggestions, please let me know. I'm not a Glock specialist. I do, I do these guys. I do these things right here. Let me know. With that being said, y'all be good. I am out of here. Damn, that's a good looking gun. I just wish she ran right. Let's put that OEM trigger in it. See how she goes. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.